Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. Check, check, check it. This is Unique House. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official, Miss Jamaica. What's up? Nothing, nothing, my day will go on. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, our Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it, we're on it. Only Definitely check out our Patreon channel, too. <laughs> what channel, too? Huh? We on everything, even threads. Uh, we on threads too. Thread, you you on Come threads? On, I ain't one in the building. You on threads? Nah, I ain't never heard of that. <laughs> it's on you there. Lying. It's on your thing. Yeah, they, you know Mark Zuckerberg just stuck that one in there. I can't it's believe it. It's on your it. Instagram. You just hit it. You had you you done seen that I thing. I thought you in the mix of everything. I thought you know everything it's, that's it's going on. Two, I come I come in late. But you can't do that. You you too busy. You own it. You supposed to have your guys on doing fake pages and everything to make sure it's legit before you go on it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, nah, <laughs> yeah. You got to check that out, but it's tied to your Instagram, so yeah. you got to be careful because you can lose your IG and your three at the same day. Yeah, what I'm saying? For <laughs> <laughs> but he don't be doing nothing on his IG. His IG be, nah, he don't hardly post. The only thing he be doing is meddling all the folks on live. Man. So, man, what's been up, man? I know you. Uh, your name came up on here a lot of times, man, but we don't get into where you been, what you been doing with this music. Yeah, yeah, nah, we go to discuss everything. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I done came. I done came at one p.m. <laughs> so, so, so yeah, what? Yeah. All right. So when you think about just some of the music going on, I mean, you know, only I seen. A, 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 hey, listen, the fight came on. I seen Big Extra Plug come out. Man, it was, but it was it was it was the music was a little bit off. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was like, why the heck did that music? They, you know, the nah, sound. Nah, nah, nah. Listen, I like Big X. Okay, you know, you know, I, I appreciate X. You know, uh, EJ. You know, he, uh, he went to six thirty five to get somebody to walk him out. You know what I'm saying? Everywhere. Else, uh, That's hard. Yeah, yeah. So, and I fuck with Big X, but they should have rehearsed that shit. You can they rehearse it though? You don't know if they can rehearse it. I mean, it, it, everything can be rehearsed. Eminem just showed no, up. No, no, he was smart. I like it. See, the thing is, is, and you got to understand Dallas, you know what I'm saying? Um, sometimes Dallas be thinking so big. They be, like, Dallas don't overthink for the world. They just think locally Dallas. Eminem was smart. I like how Crawford, Crawford intro was perfect. He, and he yeah. came out with the net on. He came out and just stood there. I ain't never seen no boxer st stand. He stood there. He stood at the entrance like a rapper. I mean, like a wrestler. You ever seen WWF yeah. when they just stand right there and look around? He stood there. Eminem stood there. Eminem just said a word. He announced him, made his presence film, just said a word on the microphone because he knew the delay. He did. He knew that, the delay. That's what I thought. I, yeah, I you said, said that he was that. a vet. You said he's been said doing he this a long it. time he, ago, he so he, he heard it. He heard it. Yeah, he heard it. But but that is his advantage because he came after him. If he came first, he probably would have done the same thing um, Big S did. Yeah, but but sometimes, nah, 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 but most because you don't most, know most, that most it's messed up. Yeah, yeah. Most rappers that walk people out, be a delay. Really? Yeah, I be hearing it because I'm a music head. Mm. But th that was a huge, huge delay. It mm. was a huge delay. And, but it like I say when I, I everybody was excited for this fight. Yeah, yeah, nah. This fight was supposed to be one of the most spectacular fights that we ever seen. I feel like boxing. I was when they was when they was finna when they was finna come out. I feel like I was fighting. Me too. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I, was, I was all the way into it, bro. Yeah. And I was sitting there on the on the little old chair watching. Cause I know you was there. I'm sitting at the, uh, at my partner's place over there, and I'm watching on the big old tell. What is that? We had the pro the big old. The big thing that, that looks like a movie. Too. Yeah, it's a big old, yeah. big thing. I'm looking at it, and them niggas big on there when they come out. Big right. X was big on there. Yeah, nigga. Man, and then I say, man, I tripped because Earl looked like some, like he wasn't all the way there. Like it, it, like his face was redder to me. It was like, what's going on with this? Yeah, it was a big fight. So you think it was nerves? Uh, yeah, no, nah, I, yeah, I think it was a big fight. He, uh, see, the first round, he was him. Yeah, no. You see, go look at. The, I don't looked at that fight five times now. He the was first round. The first round he was charging. The second round he was still doing his thing. But go back and look at that second round, and he said, "I'm tired." He said at the second round, "Damn, I'm tired." After the second round, at the second round, after he got knocked out. No, no, no. It was before he got knocked out. No, then that's the first round. The first round. Go back and look yeah, at the yeah, end when yeah, he walked into yeah. the thing. He said, "I'm but tired." But you gotta understand, you come from Texas Heat, and you come from. 
losing damn near 30, 40 pounds. That's what I'm saying. How quickly did he lose that? Huh? How quickly did he lose that weight? I'm not sure. I'm not, I don't. I think they they got their training camp. He probably did like three or four months. They they you know they they pros. You know, I need to find out what he's doing too to lose that damn weight. Because that's what you want to lose weight. Everybody, yeah, listen. I need to lose it too. Yes, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, so at the end of the day, you lose I all need that weight. All that is nutrition. Yeah, you lose all that weight. You've been running, then you go to Vegas heat. Shit. That's why he was tired. I'm telling you, go back to the first of that. I think it's the first round now that you said he got knocked down. He hadn't got knocked down yet. Yeah. It was that. But then I see it. Yeah, I said it, was, it during the yeah, fight. It was the end of the first round when he was walking. He said, back I'm to tired. His, mm. the fight. No, not right now. We can't be tired. Yeah. It's but, too early. But, but even for me, when he first walked out, he just didn't look like himself to me. He looked like something was wrong. It's a big fight. It's a big fight. And and, and I'm going to be real. with a lot of money on the line. Yeah. A lot of people bet. You know what I mean? A lot of money on the line, nigga. Some niggas was broke after that. It was a bunch. It but was win a, or lose, he still get paid. Yeah, he, yeah. He oh, about, he got that bag. He, he about 30, he about 30 he, million, 30 million, million in. Yeah, right so when I lose, he still get it. Oh, he good. Yeah. I think he gonna fight again too. It's yeah. coming. It's you think coming. Fight the same person in December. Yeah. Now nah, look. Let me tell you this. Uh, in December, you know, uh, I fuck with him. You know, uh, growing up, you know, y'all used to be yeah. like buddies or something. Wasn't you? Look, I ain't never seen nobody. That's the first time ever getting beat up. You never seen nobody beat him. Hell no. Hell no. Since he was a kid. Nah. Hell nah. And at the end of the day, uh, at the end of the day, you know. I want him to realize how to see that Dallas will do you. See, everybody was riding with him. See, everybody will always ride with somebody to one thing negative happened and they turn on him. I turn on Facebook, everybody laughing at him. So I want him to understand what the city of Dallas will do to you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People ain't loyal. People ain't your partner. Some people turn on you quick. I seen a and, lot and, of memes. Yeah, and at the end of the day, let me tell you, at the end of the day, that, that's one solid nigga that I've seen when it come down to fighting. He ain't lost one fight. I ain't never seen him run for a fight, nothing that. You know what I'm saying? Because he, he was around me his whole, since we was kids. You know what I'm saying? So I know he about. How but, long was y'all, how I, old was I, you when you first met him? Uh, he was in second grade, third grade. I was in second and third grade together. I was older than him. I'm like, I had to be like fourth. He was second. Okay, and y'all always, you always seen him. Y'all mm-hmm. always talk. Nah, yeah, he played on my little cousin football team. Yeah, and you know, uh, down there where we from, uh, everybody had games at the same place on Saturday. You know, the whole yeah. community there. Wow. Yeah, but you man. said Dallas turned on him though. But just like how you see the negative, you see a lot of love still. People, I've seen people say, "Don't no, worry about it. Those, You're gonna get him next time." Those are people that you really, gonna, those people really care. But you know, right? It, but it, it, but you talking about you know how? Okay, you know how you man, can have watched, this much positive and you have this I much negative. I watched Paul Pierce. And you know, listen, see listen, 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 I watched Paul Pierce go on there and say this boy ain't the truth, and nobody from Dallas went over there and questioned it. The fuck. How you gonna say this boy is the truth that he done, he done went through 28 fights flawless? And they they just turned their back on him. They just turned their back on him. Dallas didn't take up for him. Dallas don't say nothing. Man, that's what I said. So at the end of the day, yeah, I wanted him to see that. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, he's surrounded by people that's, you know, just, except for his family, but it's people that's, that's just want to be in the limelight. You think he has a lot of fake friends around him? Man, if he was, if the people that started off with him at them fights, Man, they would have seen him lose you. They'd be on the crown and fight, ready to fight too. It was some people he had with him that he that he let go. Yeah, no, nah, I'm just, I don't know about that. But I'm just saying the people that 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 started from the first from the first fight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they'd be ready to tear that bitch up. Mm. Cause they don't see this nigga come from nothing like 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 a three sixty turnaround. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you know you get away from them people, the limelight people, and everything. You know. Uh, uh, but you know it was sad though how the industry did him doing him, and nobody from Dallas taking up for him. De- That's how Dallas is though. De- December, December come. Uh-huh. If December come, do you man, think he gonna be ready in December though? I think it's too close. I think he should wait to buy February. I, don't, I think he's in the contract already. I think they gonna mm. fight in December. Yeah, they had to, but uh. But, uh, but it's up gonna, to his weight no, though. No, he December. already agreed. From rumors, Terrence Crawford yeah. already agreed to one fifty four. Yeah. One fifty four, yeah. right? But, but is that gonna make a difference in such a short time? Listen, that nigga over there working out right now. He upset. <laughs> he 
He got too much pride. That nigga, mm-hmm. work, that nigga working out right now. That shit hurt. <laughs> nah, we come from the right same place. Yeah. <laughs> a defeat, a L, is a good thing for certain people. It drives. But it's a bad thing for people that's going against it. Yeah. So how you think it affected him? He working out right now. I guarantee it. I ain't, I ain't talked to him, but I know him. I know him. That's somebody who ain't never got beat up ever in life. That he, yeah, he, he, he probably working out right now. Nah, for real. And you know what? I always put, I always put God in everything because I feel like we all have to go through something for a reason to open our eyes to certain things. Just like how you're talking about maybe yeah. people around him, yeah. maybe the love, yeah. maybe just anything. We don't know what it is, but yeah. I pray that he get whatever it is that he needs Message to get. That he need to get right. Out. Yeah. Now that ain't no low self esteem, nigga. Yeah. No, nah, yeah, no, nah, that ain't. But you know, at the end of the day, and then Crawford, I like and Crawford. Nice Listen, Crawford had nothing to lose. You see Crawford, baby mama? Yes, they were dancing. Big old fat, big old yeah, fat girl, about five, not, five or six he kids. He not even worried about he that. He ain't worried about that. Crawford, I knew you would like that part. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I like that. I seen his baby mama. He can give any woman in the world he want. But he content. He's silent. That's content he with side it. Yeah. You see that see his teeth? Yep. He gap. dance around. He dance yeah. around with him. He gap. He can go get veneers he want to. He don't care. Solid. That nigga real. I knew it was real when when they went to the face off, he had them big ass pants on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> that country nigga don't give a he damn. He don't care nothing about none of yeah. that stuff. Uh, uh-uh, and that country nigga don't give a that, damn. That's it. But that was but that was entertaining for the, the world, man. Look, uh, you know, uh, uh, I salute both of them, you know, uh, they both meet over 20 million plus. Uh, 30 million a piece, yeah. easy, and yeah. it's going to keep going yeah, up because that pay per view. But I when you win, you get paid more, don't you? No, no I said it's in the song. The same amount? Yeah. yeah. Whatever the contract is. Crawford, Crawford still get less. Really? Although yeah. he won. Yeah, he get less. Yeah, because the other guy going to get all type of endorsements, all yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. I think he was like a 60 40 split. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh, because he was a bigger because. Yeah, it, it, Earl, bigger. Earl was bigger. But at the end of the day, the lesson learned from that situation is stay humble. Mm. Stay humble. Because EJ was talking cash. Yeah. Yeah, like he was going to break gotta, You got to stay but humble. But Crawford wasn't talking back? He don't even know how to talk shit. Not like EJ. Mm. I told you that earlier. Yeah. He <laughs> told me he was talking. He, he'd say certain things. Like he was arguing with some of, some of Earl's camp earlier. No, 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 no. This is what he said. Hey y'all, chill. We got we got to conduct ourselves so like black people we'll sitting here acting like this and acting like that. Oh, okay. and they were still yelling at her. Come on, man, y'all. Come on, we gotta we gotta conduct ourselves in the right and way. You represent me. I like that nigga. Fool. What about the old boy that got slapped? That Charlo boy. Out of, out of the, he don't even box right now, but he even got slapped up there. Yeah, I seen it. Do you he think the dogs? Do you think Texas took an L? The whole thing was bad. But Texas, <laughs> <laughs> you laughing? But it was it wasn't a good look. The only, was, this is, the only we, person, we some proud people. We don't play like that, bro. The only person won out this situation in the state of Texas, Big X, because he got to hit that national stage. Yeah, yeah, Big X. Big X got to hit the and, national and stage. And that's a blessing because at the end of the day, Big X ain't even got one plaque. No, but that's a blessing though. And, and that nigga blessed, bro. I can't lie to you about the nigga, bro. That nigga blessed fool. I just be real. You meet that nigga, he humble. Yeah. He uh he silent and he told me he told me out his own mouth one time, Ryan, I, I do this to take care of my kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For, mm-hmm. for a person to do what they do, to take the risk they they take for their kids, not their personal risk, a personal uh situation, man, that's a blessing, man. I fuck with that nigga. I fuck with that nigga a lot. That, I ain't got nothing bad to say about that nigga. Do you think that um that Rick had an effect on Earl just going back to him for a second? Nah, he yeah, no. So you don't think, you know... He fought after that twice. Yeah, but they wasn't hitting him, though. They couldn't hit him like that. Yeah, but shit. He were, running into straight, that, straight shots, But he man. didn't fight. I mean, he didn't... He didn't they, didn't they didn't sleep him? If he would got knocked unconscious, yeah. Because I'd say something happened to his brain with the Rick. He didn't... He, he, he just met a, he met a nigga that was hitting him with counter punches. I mean, he, he, he was getting hit with counter punches. Like I don't agree I, with you on that first round though, because you 
Go Earl. look at it. He no, won. I'm talking about far as he Earl won, the way. He I'm won the, the impact he, of his he, licks. No, 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 no. His, his licks used to yes, be hard. But he won the first round. Bro. You got to understand. He, I know he won it. Listen, but. listen. He he was boxing a nigga with South, uh, South Paul. They kept switching their stands. Yeah, I you know. can't go for them. You can't You're switch it. Let's go back. Go back to the interview when they were sitting there with that white man. Crawford kept telling him, "Uh, come try me with all them body shots. They body shit. Come try me with the body shit. I'm gonna make you do the stanky leg." Crawford studied him. Yeah, I agree with that. It ain't shit to do in Omaha. Nothing. You 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 stuck with the girl you was with. You this and that. You in the house with your kids. All you got to do is sit there and lock in and concentrate. Country boy. Yeah, then you fight a nigga with six kids. I'm frustrated. I'm, well, I understand now. Because you got all them kids. Golly. <laughs> One night with them triplets. Oh, <laughs> my God. You, uh, everybody, anybody going to be ready to fight. <laughs> At 154 December, what happens? Uh, It going to be closer. So you think it'll go the distance this time? He's gonna lose. But the next gonna, fight, yeah, but he, he gonna lose again. But but he's gonna be close though. He gonna come out. Don't get it twisted. He gonna come out. Why you feel he gonna lose again? Um, because this is a weight that Crawford has never been to. Yes, yeah. I mean, one fifty four. Yeah, you're right. But at the end of the day, uh, I don't think six pounds make it. I mean, I don't think what, seven pounds make a difference. But you saying it did for EJ when it he did. lost it all did that did weight? He had to yeah, lose yeah, it. yeah, 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 lose it, yeah. But uh, but him gaining the weight, just like you uh, gain uh, weight, I'm uh, trying uh, to go uh, out he here. Went, it's gonna make you sluggish. EJ was not. He was just getting hit with counter punches. You know what I'm saying? Y'all remember Tyson fought Hallow Holyfield? Yeah. The first time knocked knocked Tyson ass out, right? Mm -hmm. The second time it was kind of close. To Tyson to, to lay on and around and Tyson realized I can't do shit and Tyson beat his ass twice. He was head button Tyson. <laughs> Man, he was he did, yeah, but yeah, but Tyson, but there you go. You, I can you a die hard two pack and Tyson fan. <laughs> Here we go with that shit. He was head button. That's was, why he bit him. Yeah, yeah, he got frustrated off them head butts, man. And, and I know, you know, Holyfield got that big head. He, mm -hmm. Big old head, boom. He hitting that nigga hard. He couldn't do nothing with him. He, he couldn't handle it. Mm -hmm. And he frustrated because he don't like to go past the first, second round anyway. Mike Tyson, that, after that yeah. beat pissed off, he can't even do nothing because he don't like fighting long fights. Okay, when you when you you went up to the fight, uh -huh. how was, the, how was the, the energy and the people and everything that going on up there at, at you know? Yeah, they were, uh, um. After the fight, like they they were disappointed. Everybody was disappointed. It was quiet. I know you could handle it. Cause that, cause the th man, it's like <laughs> yes. it's like it's like I ain't gonna lie to you. It was quiet. I kept thinking the whole time that uh, I kept thinking the whole time that um, EJ go come get come get a lucky punch and just drop him. I did. I kept saying, "Damn, I was nervous. Like it ain't over, y'all. I know him. It ain't over. But you gotta understand. Every time he, which 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 was which was worse? Let me ask y'all a question: Ryan Garcia or Earl Spence? Because y'all keep talking about EJ. How he just got this and that. But who got done worse this this summer? Ryan Garcia or Earl Spence? I say Earl. Man, that was bad. How Ryan, Ryan Garcia took a knee? I know, but he quit. Yeah, but Earl got knocked down by three times. But Ron Garcia got knocked down, then came back and took a knee the second time. He ain't want no more. Yeah, you right. But so you so 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 a person that keep on getting up and and, and trying and trying to get back into it, a person that took a knee and said oh, I quit. No, I he took a knee and did not get back up and and, and 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 so which one was worse? I don't think. I really don't think. I just don't think Earl was. I don't think he prepared himself. Correctly. Nah, you gotta understand, man. You got you fighting a beast. You gotta understand. Listen, but let me. Let me, let me now let me. I'm gonna say I'm gonna. I, I'm. I'm not. A, I'm a fan of both, mm -hmm. but at the same time, I just feel like Earl Spence. Something was wrong. He was not on, he uh, on his hundred percent game. For some reason, and what some I'm form. You, I, That's I, I what I that feel. Too. I blame it on that. Whatever he was going through, whatever was happening. Now he would have said it. You nah, think he, he would have told I don't it? He'll say it. Mm -hmm. I don't think he would say because it. I he know that it. he could do better than that. Now nah, listen, listen. Let me tell you, it's like this though. When I managed one rapper, it was easy for me. Since Mo three died, you know I had multiple rappers. Uh, 
so I gotta be I gotta split up my time. You understand know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, if you if you a single father and you have other kids, you're not the 100 percent the the best dad that you used to be because you gotta right. You gotta your spread time. it out. His manager for the last six seven years was just him and EJ. Now he got five different boxes. So I, I believe that his trainer and his manager didn't prepare for it because he got other obligations right now that's surrounded by him. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You got the Chalo twins, you got Ryan Garcia, and you got the big the big heavyweight fighter. They got to fight in two weeks, so now you got to fly out there and get ready for his training camp. Well, then cut. you got to come back, and then you one of the twins fighting Quinello. Then you got Ryan Garcia in October. Then you got him in December. Then you got him in December. You still don't get the perfect training that you need in the in the in the, in the uh, camps that you need because you got one man that got to juggle between five niggas. I get it. But let me ask you a question. Okay, being an athlete, you know, when you train, and he's been doing this for a long time, there's not a lot of new stuff that you're learning except from, except from you're studying your opponent's moves on a daily basis, trying to figure out yeah, how to counter, yeah, yeah. react to that. Yeah, but you need a watch counter. You, you need a nigga that you're comfortable with. It's, it's a... It's a he know what he's supposed to do. He go in the gym with a sparring partner. It's, and it's, it's some rappers right now that have been rapping for years still need a manager. Mm. In a label, the hell you need a label for in a manager, and you and you, and you don't make. You've been doing this long enough. You you're supposed to know exactly you what you need to do. Thousand times, and you know these same clubs you don't mm-hmm. went to. You don't know that you know exactly. You know what I'm saying? How to how to do this? How to? But do in that. that case, you're not self motivated. But then when you everybody looking, Errol, you think that he's the type of person that is a go getter, that is self motivated, that will. You know what I mean? That's Every, what I've always heard. But everybody need teaching. He said it. He said, I was thinking that. It's go, it's go do like every other fight. Mm. Come, 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 come to me. I'm gonna tell you something, mm. Rain. I, you posted Mo three laughing. They had to do him. What was it? Made it look like it though. Cause it's right at uh, the same time yeah, uh, that, uh, that would it happen. Uh, I, I wasn't supposed to post the cover. I posted that cover, and they told me that that, that ain't the cover we using. <laughs> And so when I posted that cover, my phone blew up. And then I posted him laughing, so he coming. Okay. <laughs> it had nothing to do with it. It's just coincidental. It's just coincidental. Nah, yeah, because I had posted a sample of the song. Mm. You okay. know what I'm saying? But nobody related it to that at all. Everybody thought yeah, everybody it was think, yeah, Everybody yeah. think you talking about uh, Earl uh, when you posted uh, that. Uh, the real fans underneath the comments saying, but when the album coming out? They talking about the yeah, album. Yeah, a lot of people. But... Anything you post, yeah, yeah, you could post your kids. Yeah, they gonna say when the album yeah, coming but out. They, but you go re- look at the real comments. The real comments when the album coming out. It's just some goofy dudes that could go in there talking about. He talking about this. He talking about that. I don't dislike the man. I just don't like the, the decisions that he made. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I want, and at the end of the day, I wanted him to lose. I wanted to feel disappointment like I feel disappointment. You want it. Earl Spencer? I was a crowd. No, I was rooting for Crawford. I was rooting for Crawford for the last four years. I seen Carl. Did you bet? Carl, is Carl Ken to him? He took pictures with him after mm, the fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, nah, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? They both yeah. had the last name. That's Crawford. what I said. Nah, I, I want a Crawford. I want a Crawford. Did you bet? Yeah. So you won? 17. You bet against? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do it again, too. Bet, bet, bet against Dallas? Yeah. Fuck him. <laughs> Dallas ain't loyal to nobody. Dallas is not loyal to so nobody. So you didn't bet with Spence? Uh, uh, no, I, 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 I know boxing. So all the other fights, yeah, but not this one. This man, y'all not understanding how this man is. This man 39 and 0. When you betting, it ain't personal. Yeah, yeah. He 39 and 0, and he can go from from South Paul to regular at any time. So you was happy when you won your money. Yeah, he, he, he when he his leading hand, the little jab, you know, you throw a jab with your off hand. Mm-hmm. His leading hand is his pow- most powerful hand. That's why you get he get caught with them hooks. He switched his jabs to hooks. Because that's his most powerful hand. That's what I heard of. Nothing said. you ain't never see ain't he ain't never seen nothing like it. Wow. I wanna ask you about uh some I'm gonna jump subjects on you. Uh I had uh, Vega on here, Smooth Vega. Yeah. And Smooth Vega said, you know, it came up about uh, Bumpy Johnson, mm-hmm. about you, basically, he ghost managed for you, and he said he basically... He said you kept, don't even know about it. That's you what don't he even said. know I, that I, he was doing I understand. it. Listen, listen. He helped listen. you with Bumpy Johnson, 
how, how and he said he was. A, I had checked him about the fact of saying he was the best manager. Yeah. And I threw you in there. You know, I throw low D's in there. I throw the ones I think about. Um, and what he say? Who, who, who he had, said he wanted to challenge you. He yeah. said he was going to bring you on this show, uh. but you try to charge him, and yeah, he you, was going to challenge well, you. Who have he managed? He got some Hispanic. How uh, I many plants they got? He just got a deal the other they day. They just did a deal with uh, some company mm-hmm. in Tennessee. I don't know what's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know about that. We don't even know what kind of company it is. <laughs> listen, so, listen, listen, listen. Why does he feel like? And why, did, why was he? Why did he have a little animosity it's, it's, towards it's you? It's DFW. That's why I'm trying to tell y'all. When you, once you're on top, they it's a it's a roar to everybody try to turn you down. But are you on top right now? Yeah, hell yeah. What makes you on top right now? Hell yeah. I, mean, I just I I just, I, I just I just made a rapper. Let me tell you this, Fredo Bank. Fredo Bain jumped on Mo. I seen that. Mo- that. Fredo Bain jumped on Mo three album for free. Mm. I got him paid six hundred fifty thousand dollars on a tour. Wow. I'm, I'm taking some of my young people to the tour with me. I just got Baby C seven hundred fifty thousand dollars to create. There no album ever done. There ain't nobody ever did that for one. For nobody ever did it around here. You know, at the end of the day, just tell me about the deal. I see when you yeah. when you when you, what was that about? What the deal that you got Baby with? C? Yeah, you got a good album deal coming out. You got a one album deal coming out. So, uh, uh, Bumpy. Bumpy number two in Dallas. I mean, right now. So, you know, at the end of the day, you know, people be thinking that I could just make superstars like that. That take time. It do take time. You know time. what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, but at the end of the day, nobody can, can I'm making niggas chicks. I'm changing niggas' lives. Mm. A.O. Key, A.O. of Key and, uh, and Block, the little light-skinned and dark nigga, dark skin nigga in, in uh, North Dallas I got. They going off my word that Key is the next one to blow. He, they, don't even, they can't even tell me what song he got. <laughs> but they just go they off. They got my word. That's so right word. now, I love, I like to see that Dallas because right now, it's easy. You know what I'm saying? But you know, at the end of the day, um, I'm not, let me tell you like this. At the age I'm in right now and the kids I got, I can't go get a worldwide artist. I don't even want a worldwide artist right now. Because they're going to take away from my family. I don't want to do that no more. You know what I'm saying? Me gone. Is it important for you to be there for your kids? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So me gone all week, two weeks, and and getting the artist that's so hot that we got to move to Miami and can't be here. And I got a, I got a, I got a daughter that I got to help take school every day. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I can't do that. But... As long as my checks coming in, and long as I'm making money and helping niggas change lives, I'm satisfied with that. I don't want to be number one in Dallas, Texas at all. Don't put me in no category. Don't put me in no don't the base. Keep a list. Don't, I don't care about that because at the end of the day, people will expect you to change. People will believe in you more than they believe in God. Mm-hmm. Now I see why Sean Cotton say that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So at the end of the day, they expect so much from you when they put you in their watch car. Now it's the base of who did On that pedestal. Yeah, fuck that shit. Let me make my millions in peace. No, that's real. You know what I'm saying? I like it. So, you know, uh, uh, you know, I was reading the comment while ago. What do you do outside of Mo Three? I I don't want to do nothing else outside of Mo Three because at the end of the day, it, it, you know what I'm saying? That was my that was my calling from God to come down here and tell get his story out. Yeah, yeah. So I still got albums coming out. I still got movies coming out. So my base concern is Mo Three to tell tell their story. With my partner Roy Lee, but you know, on the side, I'm still gonna give people chicks. You know what I'm saying? I'm still going to help people out and give people checks. I'm still going to do this. Um, the way I'm putting out this nigga Mo3 album right now, every every video is a short a short movie. Can yeah, you, you keep teasing everybody because that's why everybody be in them comments trying to say, hey, but when is it coming? This, it's not me, though. I'm just giving people hope. I'm letting people stay still. It's not me, though. You know, uh, uh, right now, um, Young Blue, man, Young, Young Blue, you really fucking up the Mo3 album right now. Cause you know, um, whatever you got going on with them, you knew who you were signed to before you signed to them people. You know what I'm saying? You mess you you got you got two of my favorite people in the world in two. Hmm. You got Boosie and who? Gazi. Gazi in two. Yeah. Young, so you don't appreciate him doing young that. Young Blue, you know who you were signed to. Yeah. What did he? Okay, and this you is, think that, and that's pretty much causing some the waves to flow different at at the whole lake. Yeah, man, you know, you know, at Empire. This is coming from a person who don't know really know what's going yeah. on with this. Okay, <laughs> so know. Young Blue, what yeah. did Young Blue do? Uh, uh, at that boosts uh, 
brother or something, cousin? Nah, you know, it's, it was an artist. Okay, yeah, I thought it was just, yeah, I know it's his artist. Yeah, yeah, I thought they were nah, family. They nah, not family. Nah. No, his brother or something went and, yeah, went yeah. and signed him off or yeah, something. Yeah, I, I don't know. Because you say you don't appreciate what he did. Hey, what are you uh, talking uh, about? They yeah. all under the same, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah, it's umbrella. In, it's in a it's, it's in, it's, it's, uh, it's friction. It's a friction right now. Okay. Because uh, now, you know, we need Boosie to keep on doing it. Songs with Mo Three. If people want to hear Boosie and Mo Three, right? Yeah. We still getting mm-hmm. plants after after that combination. Yeah. So you true. know, at the end of the day, we gonna ride that combination out to to people. You know, some people for people they 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 listen to that every night. I don't know. They can't wait for a Boosie and Mo no, Three song I can't, to come I, out. I love it. You know what I'm saying? So you know, uh, uh, with that uh situation going on, it put too many people in the middle. Then you know, uh. It's just a fucked up situation. We could. I didn't even think of it. Right? We could. I, I get what you're coming from. So that's holding up the yeah, album. We, we, right? Well, it ain't just holding up. The album is holding up the way that, like, if he trying to deal with Boosie. Yeah, he, I need he, them talking. He need them to be at yeah, the top. They into it. Yeah, we mm. shoot. They need shoot videos. Got that. They got a song called "Way in the Water." Powerful motherfucker. Uh, we could have y'all. We could have picked up. They could have picked up the option. Had another Mo three and Boosie another album. Badass to Mo three too. Yeah. But at the end of the day, with them into it over some goofy shit, then you know they fuck up the whole legacy and everything the preparation that I put around the whole Mo3 album yeah. because at the end of the day you know when, when the last album came out I called Boosie Boosie helped me promote it you know Boosie got them songs on there Boosie riding around to it you know you know Boosie Boosie's a big uh, part of Mo3 uh, career yes. you know what I'm saying so when he, when he not happy then he put me in the middle then you got a person that sit there and took a chance and changed Mo3 life and, and they into it man it make a whole bunch of uh, situ- the situations kind of Kind of sticky. You think you think they'll ever squash really it, huh? You think it'll ever be resolved? I, mean, I try to stay out of. It. I don't care who did what, how they did that, but at the end of the day, they, they, that's those two of my favorite people in the industry right now. Well, let, let me ask you this: uh, Boosie came off uh, about uh, Kodak Black and Six Six Nine doing a song together. Yeah. Um, did you feel like you you know if? Six nine was to want to do something with Bumpy, or would you do it for a million dollars? Yeah, Bumpy, I'll consider Bumpy ain't no gangster, so he ain't into that. Yeah, no, nah, he better not be. So that means you could do, you could do, you could work, you could make it happen, and you wouldn't have a problem with it, cause yeah. you yeah. ain't in that lifestyle. Yeah, Bumpy, I'm telling Bumpy, Bumpy Lee, that if you ain't no gangster shit, you in that street shit, yeah. Go get that money. Get that money. It was all about changing your family life. But when you go to, when you was raised by them rules, yeah, ain't no turning back from that. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care what happened in your life. You know what I'm saying? But Kodak act like it was, you know, he just kind of talked a little bit about him on the line I'm doing with a rap. I remember a- when Lil Tim with Vaughn supposed to be doing the song with 6 9 Everybody in the world talked about him bad. You know what I'm saying? So uh, when you live by them gangster codes and them street codes, 6 9 you can't even have a conversation with 6 9 you know if if six nine and Gunna did a song together, niggas would go crazy. Yeah, but like I said, yeah. in the world, they both they in both the world talk. right now, snitching is not bad to the some people. They don't care to the to the industry now. Nah. You know, uh, you know they catch niggas every day by snitching. People still go listen to them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So you know, do you you oh, okay? Because so. you remember it, snitching. What's the difference? What's the difference to being, and that don't matter no more. What's the difference than having a, a gay homeboy or a snitch homeboy? <laughs> That's a weird question, Rain. <laughs> what? What the hell? What's worse? What's worse than having a gay homeboy or a, a nigga that snitch in today's time? That's a crazy question, Rain. You know why? Cause it really don't. It, a gay person is is different. What a snitch is something you can violate the code on. A gay uh, person is something that where they struggling with something that's that's de- they're dealing if with. If you find that life, your, right? if you find that your main partner is undercover. Okay, let me answer that question. The difference is your your main partner that's undercover, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, he not bringing it to you. He just you know he gay whatever. That's that that's his business. But when you have a homeboy that's a snitch, he could be snitching on you and you don't even know. Yeah. That's the difference. But yeah, but yeah, you're right about that. But in the culture we live in now, it all don't matter. 
why do you think, why haven't Boosie been back on Vlad since he came home? He was screaming he was going to go back, but he ain't went back. I've been waiting on that. He hasn't been back a month. <laughs> but still, he said when he got out, I'm, feeling, I'm on my way, Vlad. He might, you know, they probably did. They probably hold him. Just holding it back. Yeah. Yeah. I, I seen him at the BT Awards. You seen it? Right? Yeah, okay. you was there too, mm -hmm. and you everywhere. That's just B two. Mm -hmm. How was it at the B? Uh -huh. Then you, man, I was I was kind of upset because I felt like Birdman should have been there. You know, but everybody. Man, I'm up. saying that's the why. Let me tell, let me tell y'all about Dallas. Tell about Dallas. <laughs> so we in that B T with me, Bumper Johnson, H. Yeah, because dude. um um old boy Prince performed. Right. Look, let me tell you, I seen them motherfuckers too. Who the Prince now? You speak mm -hmm. to him? Yeah, listen. I, I was outside talking, taking pictures and shit like that, and I seen them, and I said, damn, y'all performing? me like, yeah, like, damn, let me walk in with y'all. Hey, smile, kept on walking. No. It was, it was, I said, look at them damn stanky legs. Nigga. It was four of them. Yeah. Usually with five. Somebody got left. Yeah, so boom. So boom. I ended up getting in walking through the back, you know, uh, uh, I was I was back. Walk through the back, wait. Yeah, I, they, they, at, at one point in time, I was down there back there helping them build shit. <laughs> look. <laughs> Look, my kids, listen, listen. At one point in time, I'm back there with me, Fabulous, Jada Kiss, Fat Joe. Damn. Right? Fabulous looked at me and said, You ready? You got you you ready? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm down. So he looked at me, so he said, yeah. So he looked at me again, like, you don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. So I told my partner, dude, little dude, I said, come on, let's give him back here. I don't know. These niggas think, oh, they don't know what these niggas think. Well, he thought you were going to yeah. do that. You ready? So you going to perform? I look. So I walk out to the front, right? I can't remember. I think Jada Kiss. One of them niggas back there, back there, and, I, and he was performing. I look back there, it was a bunch of backup dancers back there dancing. <laughs> He thought you were gonna go in. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So, I, so I said, "Damn, I could have been on TV dancing." <laughs> <laughs> I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up, nigga. I fucked up. I, would you have came out with him? Yeah, I was. I would have hit the rag daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I would have came out to the rag daddy. Big extra plug. He didn't go to that. Uh, he didn't go he didn't there. Go to that. Only Dallas. The niggas represent Dallas. Us thankful leg nigga. But no, so thankful leg nigga. So Dougie Fresh sitting in front of us the whole time, right? He came out to the other Dougie. I didn't like that. I was exactly, just, and Dallas ain't said nothing about it. That's why I be talking about. I, I he seen said it. He I was said like, it. what he the hell? But publicly, Dallas didn't say nothing about it. Mm -hmm. So hold on, but aren't you Dallas? Why you didn't say nothing about say it? Say it again? Why you didn't say because nothing about when it? I, sometimes when I say too much shit about it, it's like uh, rain being negative, rain doing this, rain doing that. So uh, right now, you got to understand this. Take a seat back and see who else going to take care for. Ain't nobody saying nothing. Nothing. Damn. Lil Will didn't say nothing. Lil Will came over here talking shit about me instead of sitting there saying, man, for, for the BET Awards, they didn't even have me up there. I had the one. Oh, I had, I, I had but a he big, came before the BET Awards even came. Okay, well, you should be, then you made sure you came after. Yeah, he should have just said he, something. Yeah, because they was wrong. They was wrong. They should have. The radio stage, nobody says nothing about it. So you, what do you think the problem is in Dallas, man? Man, they, they, they sometimes they, 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 they it's, I don't know. It's some shit that I ain't never seen before. Ain't some shit I ain't never seen before. But let me tell you, the females in the rap game, Glorilla fucked it up. How? Because um, uh, I put it like this. So you had you started off with Missy Elliott, right? Nice, mm -hmm. classy woman, right? We ain't started with no damn Missy. I'm saying, Elliott. I'm, I'm saying, in, in 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 last twenty years. Okay. Yeah, he's that's Missy, where he's You got Missy Elliott. You know, I'm going all. Then you got back. Foxy Brown. You got Lil Kim. They was kind of provoked. They were kind of out of control, and that was cool. But then you come back to, you Kim. come back to uh, Megan, mm. and they, and Megan and them city girls. That era of breaking tricks and this and that, right? That was that that kind of got out of line. We thought, whoo, it's out of line. Now the Megan and City Girls, you don't want your kids listen to it. But this Glorilla. F and F. This uh they she What's that other girl she, name? She, Gl Glorilla brought out the ratchets. That red? Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. But Glorilla brought out it's Glorilla, the sexy red, and that girl red. uh Shakuna go they're talking about eating ass. That's what it's all they, about. Oh my god. The B T was so ratchet. That, I thought that's how Tyler Perry the, just took it over. We got to straighten everything nah, out. No, nah. man, that bitch was ratchet because the Glorilla fucked up the female rapping. 
She sound deep. Ain't got time to date. We ain't doing yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. I, I told, I told y'all say she last year that that bitch wasn't gonna be shit. She ain't. She still going. Yeah, Man, I was she, about to say. Nah, not like that. Not like that. Cause she different. Man, she oh, boy, come on, say he uh, wasn't Mobo Joe. Say she stole this beat to his song. I, I, mm. I, I talked about that. Who that Mobo Joe? He owns that beat uh, uh, from out of Louisiana. He, uh, Mobo Joe. Summertime. That, that summertime jam. Yeah, he mad about that. But you think that okay? You when you look at Dallas, do you think anytime soon we yeah. haven't had a mega hit? Is what's the hottest song out now? Not just in Dallas, anywhere. In the world? In the world. Right now. That, uh, that, uh, pa, 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 Damn, so pa, pa, Yeah. So I heard, I heard that shit everywhere. That's it. Yeah. They killing it right now. Mm-hmm. My daughter listened to it. That's the only mm-hmm. reason I know it. Mm-hmm. My daughter, she, she pop, pop, pop it. All mm-hmm. she probably pop, 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 pop it. Mm-hmm. That damn six flag. Yeah. Yeah, that, 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 that's that's the hottest song in the club. That's a little dude. Where that little dude from? Mm-hmm. Atlanta. You mean Atlanta? Atlanta. Yeah. And I can say nudie, it. nudie. You know, yeah. Nudie. Rain is is man. You know you you had a you. Would you be willing to do anything else with uh, OG Bobby Billions? He. I talked to him. Uh, actually, Crawford and them reached out. If Eminem want to show up, then they would come out the outside. They was. Yeah. Wow. Damn, you would have let that happen? Hell yeah, I need a mo three voice somewhere in that mm-hmm. motherfucker. Damn, that would have been crazy. But that, oh, oh, and I thought, I had nah, to, for you, yeah, yeah, but I, I had to talk. But that, people would have felt like you betrayed the city, huh? Yeah, because you on the opposing side. That's what he's looking Hell at. Hell yeah, you would have been because looking crazy out here. Dallas, and then he's you the think opposing you'd have been team. Upset. They'd have been upset with you now, right now. Bobby was gonna walk out with me with him. <laughs> 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 nigga, fuck that. <laughs> then we we then, then at the end of the day I need Mo three voices now. I'm fuck, I'm I'm Mo three. I'm Team Mo three. I don't care about no nothing that's going on in life. No, no I'm Team. You would have let Crawford walk Listen, out to that. Anything that made me cry, I can't get over. Nah, that's real. That's real. <laughs> no, I get it, bro. Nah, nah, that's hard. What you just said. Yeah, it, it yeah. touched you. It, I'm yeah, hit you right. Nah, for real. So I'm team I'm three. Man. You, you got put my nigga. Boy, yeah. If you'd have let that happen, my Bobby nigga voice. Like, what the my, hell? My nigga voice on the, uh, come out on the auditorium. You know what I'm saying? What? That would have went crazy. Hey, yeah. So man, that's why I was pushing for. So you and Bobby, y'all, y'all talked talked about it. I told Bobby he was stupid. Why? He was. Why you he talking turned about it some down? Of the stuff he did. Yeah, yeah. You talking about the situation? Man. He told me like a man, right? I, I ain't think of it like that. Now you explain it. I'm just glad y'all talk, man. You see, people can get past their situation. Man, Bobby went into it. Bobby was just. I know you just messing with him, but just the way it all was coming out, like people think sometimes they they make you out to be the bad guy, man. I'm telling you, I talk to everybody. Yeah. A lot of people think you you he evil. He don't want to do good by people. Why why they say that? Because it's just some of the way that, that you, you always have an ulterior motive yeah, when you're dealing with people. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. Because at the end of the day, yeah. listen, listen, listen. At the end of the day, I don't need nobody for shit. I don't need enough. My partner was loyal to me. I was loyal to my partner. He gone. So everything else. Second nature. Yeah, it's just fun. I get it. I, I get it. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it, it just, it just, it's just fun. I got a question. So, um, you went to Rolling Loud the other day? Mm-mm. No, cause I saw you in a picture with um, Bun B somewhere. <laughs> uh, uh, Trill Burger. You, so you went down, down to Trill Burger. You always trying to do something. What you, you doing at Trill Burger? How was it? Yeah, cool. You like no, the burger? How do you rate the burger compared to any other burger? He better not rate it wrong. You know why with the bun getting his money no, over there? I ate a vegan burger. But oh, still, yeah, yeah. how is it? No, like a seven, eight. Seven, no, eight. That was good, pretty good. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> no, so it wasn't good. It was good, but I know some places over there, Oak Cliff, uh, that we used to eat back in the day, or some home and pop burgers, pretty damn good. They still open today? Nah, but, but so it must not be that good. Bun B can promote. 
He promoting like hell. Yeah, everywhere. I went in there just to listen to the Pimp C albums and Pimp C albums. Them whole jumping ain't jumping. I was like, wait to get but, down there. For 24, I mean, for 24 hours, that's all they playing. It's right there. That whole UGK. Every day, all Boys day. Boys kicking back. Yeah, yeah. Laying yeah. in the shade. I done got that burger. I done got that burger. Got me a double cup and pour, pour that big pony <laughs> drink in there. Sit there, sit there and lick that bun. <laughs> sit that bun. Yeah, I thought I was, I thought I was from Houston for a minute. <laughs> Bumpy thought he was Houston. Bumpy shot a whole video I outside. See that. <laughs> Oh, that was hard. I loved it. I was out there taking pictures from them from them people. I loved it, man. So I walk walked in. Yeah, we had a big old we had a big old Houston fest back down there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It was just the atmosphere. Was it jam packed? Yeah. 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 Stand in line. Now nah, Bun came out there. That's what he was doing, come and get me when he seen the pictures outside. He yeah. came get me, yeah. Then he told me we, we went across the street to the shoe store and I was in there, uh now nah, I listen. Let me be real. I don't met I don't met niggas around the world. Yeah. Rappers, right? Yeah. Uh with fucking with Bumpy, cause I ain't do that with three. I've been meeting them old niggas I ain't never met. Mm-hmm. Okay. Bumpy like that. And it's so exciting. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's so exciting to me. Yeah, Kiki. Kiki told me. Rain. Nigga, all them samples you be hearing. That's me. That's right. Mm-hmm. Has to be he ain't lying. Till the day he I ain't die. lying. I, uh, 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 and you didn't know uh, that. I chunk up the deuce for the yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that. So yeah, so uh, 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 that uh, that uh, that uh, 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 knocking dough down. That, yeah, knocking dough down. Yeah, I'm a, yeah is, that, is that sitting sideways, boy? Yeah, yeah, days? yeah. 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 He said, right, all them samples. That's that's him. That's Kiki. I like it. And so then I talked to Paul Walk about an hour or two hours. Paul Walk gave me the rundown. And you know, they didn't accept us because we wasn't SU, we wasn't SUC. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, we was a uh, rapper. I mean, yeah, uh, no, Switch House. house. Mm-hmm. So, you know, and then, you know, my first, my first, my number one freestyle album in that time, I mean, they're not freestyle album, but in that time, Chameleon and Paul Walk. Color mm-hmm. Change and Click. I think I think a mirror now fucked a pile while. Why you say that? Nah, I can't, because they both did good. But if they could would have continued, they, they did good anyway. But still though. Man, it was Destiny like, had to happen, man. Yeah, but still though, we need to hear one more color change and click out. I would love to see that. But but Camille, I don't even he entertain retired. it no more. I know, I know. I'm saying last time I talked to him, we was in Vegas at Dreads Club. Mm-hmm. Remember I was up there with him. Man, we 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 reminisced and talked for a that, long uh, time. That uh Big swangers and bogey. Twenty inches sitting low. Yeah, that yeah, old went so yeah, hard. Yeah, was, yeah but I remember when that album came out. I got it at Trailer Village. You got it. <laughs> Trailer Village, <laughs> you know? Yeah, one of the Mexican soul too. Ooh, Trailer <laughs> yeah, Village yeah, had yeah. going in. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying. I told Power Wow. So you know, you know, when I go down there to that Houston, it's like, man, it's exciting to me. It's very exciting to meet them niggas. Cause I, I, I'm talking about, I was young, young. I had to be like sixth, fifth, seventh grade listen to they freestyles. Yeah. What I can say about them niggas, I'll say it over and over again, is they OG rappers out there. They respect good example. them. Though. They respect mm-hmm. them. And they making money. Mm-hmm. They still making money. They still money. doing yeah, it yeah, today. So, you know, um, you know, in Dallas right now, you know, you know, you still ain't got no, you still ain't got the role models to look, look up to. Yeah, yeah. You know, them niggas got businesses and and I, I all the niggas, most of the niggas out there got restaurants and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the thing you got to realize, there's a lot of talent out there. I talk to Chose. Slim and, Thug doing a lot too out there. Yeah, Slim, yeah, Thug, Slim Thug doing a lot of shit. Mm-hmm. I like Chose. And, and, and B King. Mm-hmm. Man, I still ain't talking to no, B King. No, B King too. <laughs> B King, B King, he, he still, he, he one of those Man, guys. B King. He a part of that whole legacy. No, 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 no. Legacy wise. He working he right now with music uh-huh. now. He a part uh-huh. of that uh-huh. whole legacy. Uh-huh. Legacy wise, B King is the man out there. 15 years straight. Right. 15 years straight. They got mad at me because I said, he took a year off. That ain't all you said, Rain. I said, I said, Rain, that ain't all you said. said. You had a lot of fly stuff to say, bro. This is what I said. I said, tell B King get back in them sandals. Since he got that pretty, nice young girl, we ain't heard no hits. Get back with Tasha. <laughs> Please. You can't say that, man. Man, that nigga was Bro, hungry. You can't say that. Why? Because you don't want nobody to say nothing about you in your no, personal life. That motivates me. Yeah, you. I got, I got a tweet right now when I was in jail, 2013. B King put out. LOL. Have anybody heard from Rainwater? No. Put that my kids. 
He know that. Cause when I got, got out, I said, thank you for be, he was, that, it was like a shout out to me. Thank you for even be, you the only nigga that even brought my name up. Do you hear this? Because mm-hmm. <laughs> it's wild, I bet y'all wild. But but still though, there, there wasn't no, there wasn't no, no, no diss. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't no diss. Uh-uh. So, okay. So, so you think, what can Dallas do to collectively get this circle right? How can we unify, bro? We like are, I said, we are unified. I want to see the. I, I want to see everybody, you know, make hits. And I ain't saying come together, but at least when it's time to do the music, come together. That's the part right there. Mm-hmm. When it's time to do the music, we need to come together. What you mean, though? Meaning it don't. It don't matter. It don't matter. It, it really, really just don't matter. Like right now, the really the, the the hardest collab you just said Bumpy was number two. Okay, hey, I'm Big X on. number one. No, 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 Why ain't no, there no, hearing no, no. no track from Big X and Bumpy? No, 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 I'm working on that. I'm working on that because at the end of the day, uh, uh, yeah, I'm working on that situation. You know. But you see what I'm saying? No, no, no. no but, but this that, is the problem, but, but, no, bro. No, 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 no. Let me say it like this: they, they got they got other songs for other people too. Dallas is more together than we have ever seen. I don't agree with that. What, why? What other people they got songs with? Huh? Uh, you got Big X and Kevin got bands. Okay, switch that's one, man. Switch a rule. You got other things, but see, at the end of the day, before people start doing songs with each other, they got to find themselves. I get it, man. But I'm saying though, you got to find themselves first. Then, bro, you don't think that we from Texas remix with everybody on it that sound uh, that's Texas unified would be hard, bro? Uh, I think we from Texas remix need to be D Baby, Mexican OT. D baby Mexican OT. No, you can't just say that. Yeah, the Mexican OT, but but Mexican OT and D baby is the kings of Texas. D baby Mexican OT and Big S the kings of Texas right now. Yeah, but then you still need uh, you got Bumpy and who else? Yeah, y'all understand that. But outside outside of uh, Big S right now, ain't nobody even putting the work in to be a a, a, a superstar. They not even Bumpy. He not. Big X is out. Big X is out in after hours in Oak Cliff on on on, on Count Wisdom. Got 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 more hits. Got more hits right now. He's out in the club. Nigga went to the club. Said the club two three months straight to Lil B to let everybody know he's still outside. He's still working, taking pictures with everybody. No, they not. You can't pay some of these rappers right now to go outside and promote their music constantly. They scared. They no, I mean, it's not scared. It's just you know they comfortable. And nigga put the work in to get to where he at. I tell niggas around me all the time. The fuck y'all nigga get some clothes for and go out for. That nigga Big X did it with a, with a shirt off and sweatpants for a whole year, two years. Yeah. So to get to his spot he in, he worked for that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, I, I get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So at the end of the day, ain't nobody deserve to even be on the track with him right now because he worked for that. He did. I like to see Lil Rose Summer get with it. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, yeah, his, yeah, that's yeah, right yeah, in yeah, man. Yeah, but now. That's who, t- I think he said that's who told him to rap. Yeah, yeah. Lil Rose but now, now, nigga, Big X, Big X worked for that. Put that on my kids. He worked for that. Like I remember seeing him last week. I mean, it's about, about a month, ago, two weeks ago. The fuck is he doing at the after hours? Went two weeks in a row. Who had him at the after hours? Lil B man. That's his manager. Nah, that's the promoter in, in the Dallas. He shouldn't have been there. He should have. Oh, okay. These rappers now got got guidelines. Nigga, there ain't no guidelines. I want to be a rapper. I know a nigga the other day told me. But they gotta pay me to go to shit like that. Nigga, who the fuck is you? <laughs> Niggas will get fly on you. Nigga, who the fuck is you? Nah, Big X is the, the perfect representation of this city. Wow. Do you, have you ever. What about San Antonio? Do they ever I put have Big artists? X on Mo3 I, I, I gotta ask you that. Do San Antonio ever have any artists? Any, anybody? I had a. I know the girl. Uh, yo, uh, Unique Red is a bad motherfucker out there, but. San Antonio ain't found their identity yet. Okay. Okay. They still stuck between should we act like Houston? You got to watch that. Austin get called it because it's so yeah, close yeah, to Houston, Houston too. Houston and San Antonio, they still stuck in it. They still stuck on Houston. They still riding swangers. And and if you bring Power Wild or Kiki or, or anybody out there, uh, they go pack that bitch up. Let's talk about how important. I, I gotta, I have a question. Hold this. on, hold on. Since you said that, how important is it for an artist to rep his city, to rep 
the sound from his city and not to try to sound you, like any other you, city. You get them hope. You kill city hope. Once a nigga blow up past their city, outside their city, and rep their city, you get a whole community hope. Can a, can he blow up without repping his city? Nah. You need a you need a foundation. I know niggas around here. I can't even pay. A, I tell them go to the club. We don't need Dallas. Fuck Dallas. No, you need Dallas. You need Dallas. You need Dallas. Mm. Every every rapper that lasts longer, unless you just like a TikTok rapper. Every la every rapper lasts long in the game. Uh, they need their city. Yeah, because when you say that, I'm talking about Houston. That's what Houston do. Houston have their sound. Houston reps uh, Houston. I told Bumpy because Bumpy's not from Dallas or Houston. Mm -hmm. So I told Bumpy to redo a Houston song. Who would he do? He did one. Slanging on. Mm. Slanging on over five million mm -hmm. streams in two three months. And so I told him to redo a Houston song. What's his the next Houston, move? The Houston culture. Bumpy got his. I can. I listen. I can come get I can come catch anybody in the rap game in, in, in Dallas, Texas, even Texas with the sound he got. Cause it's something about that sound that they like that soulful sound. Mm -hmm. So I can come get anybody. I'm coming to get it, everybody. With Bumpy. Yeah. Bumpy and, and, and Key. AOF Key. More money from Fort Worth. I'm before he stay, he from Oak Cliff, but he stayed in Fort Worth. I keep telling you, you from Fort Worth. He stayed, he moved from Oak Cliff when he's 11, 12, and been staying in Fort Worth since. You from, you from Fort Worth. But my my young daughter's with more money. But right now, uh, my front line, I'm coming to get it. I'm coming to take over the game in the next three months. We're bumping. I gotta ask you about uh, the the night um, big big pokey passed on that stage. Poro. Man, that's, that was a tough one. I, I know ESG, the one that hit me up and you know at 3 o'clock and was like, Pokey died. I said, what? Like, what did you think about that? Because I'm going to be honest with you, it messed me up. Because it made I, me go wrong. You know, I'd already texted him in. I'd been texting trying to get him on the show. I'd hit everybody up. I'd talk to Renetta. I'd talk to mm -hmm. uh, Al D. I'd Kiki. talk to all of them. Mm -hmm. Man, I need to talk to Big Poke. I got him phone. I don't even think I got his number. I'm texting the niggas, man. I wanted to interview him, and then this happened. I was so upset, bro. Die, baby. I definitely didn't want to see him leave. He was eating. Man, it made, it made me go run and pray. That shit, that was sad. It was sad. Because he had just lost weight. He was losing weight. He wasn't as big as he used to be. You know what I realized? When you big and you start losing weight, that's when you start getting sick. I noticed that too. I, I be seeing that. Uh, when it, people start, like be because they do you think because they be trying to lose it too quick and they're not losing nah, it the way they're supposed I, I to? I don't know. Heavy D done that when he yeah. lost that weight, he died yeah, and he got he that did. blood clot on that plane. I don't start realizing that. No, that's that's real. Uh, C Strug C Strug got cancer when he started losing weight. Damn. Fat out, passed out, and died. He was trying to lose weight. Trying to lose weight. But you don't know if this would have happened, even if they wasn't trying to lose weight. And the next I think two months, your that I think happen. your body be content. Where it's at. Where it's at. Yeah, well, that's your, I sure. I I agree. I'll be thinking about stuff like that too. So that's a that's a huge thing, man. Like so so are you you you, you know already? I'm gonna ask you about pink pressure, like. You sent her over and did the interview. I hadn't heard nothing else. How is she doing? Uh, I think she had got mad at me. She said, uh, she, she mad at you again? Yeah, she said, uh, uh, it's all about time. She wants you to bring her out. Yeah, she was like, you don't take, you don't take me nowhere. You don't take everybody else nowhere. It's all about time. You don't think she ready? Uh, mentally, no. So she gotta be mentally and physically. Cause the devil give you tools to destroy yourself. I've heard you say that before. Yeah, he has. And you think that's pretty much that that that's that can happen. That can happen. You gotta be mentally and ready for it. I seen a little boy put like this. This is what I do too. Um I sit there. And y'all know everybody who ever got mad at me, you don't hear nothing from them no more. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people get mad at you. I tell you, artists have been around me. What? You talking Why? about what Dun, did you do Dun, to them? Dun, Dun, and number seven, and all the people and, you and had? Now, and now Pink. 
So why? Not pink, man. Okay, she ain't with pink. you no more, but she just mad at I you. I was never coming back manager. I was dropping singles under my company. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? So why you don't hear nothing from them no more? Because you see, you could tell it was all me. Pushing them. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's crazy, but I, I feel you. I feel so, you. So why, you. Why you would say that? Because you should still hear them is what you say. I should still hear them. Once they leave, I just like. Or okay. even hear them even more because yeah. they should be trying to prove yeah. you so wrong. So sometimes the, the fans, I remember when number seven left and they was like, me and seven got into it, the fans like, okay, now he can finish his career now because he ain't no brain what this and that. You ain't heard nothing from him. So, you know, I'll try to push the people for the best. I don't have to be around you to go to the studio. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you ever seen a nigga that play basketball, that want to play basketball? Uh, Key, you had a kid that would play basketball for a while? Mm-hmm. You'll see him dr- act like he's dribbling around the house, mm-hmm. laying up every five minutes, you know what I'm saying? You see a nigga play, act like he play football, he, he just running like he bumping mm-hmm. everything. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to tell you to go to the studio. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Are you right? I, I shouldn't have to tell you to go make a, I mean, to write a song. You shouldn't have to call me for, see, our managers don't pay for shit. People are confused. They believe managers pay for everything. They don't. That's an investor or a label. A manager just gets you in doors that you don't belong in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Every artist out of had wasn't belong. It wasn't supposed to be in that position. You know what I'm saying? No, I get it. I get it. I, I got a question. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, recently, we had somebody on our show, um, Tony Wilrich. The gay crew. Did you? What you think about him? Um, he That's said he's right? the. That's he said right? yes. Yeah. He said he's the first open. gay open gay. Gangster rapper, Crip gangster rapper. Yeah, but his artist is Supreme, right? I mean, is Supreme his manager? Yeah, it's yeah, good, Bob man. Supreme. It's good. It's Bob, Bob, Bob finally came out and, and, and did what he did. You know what I'm saying? He came out. That's good. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I mean. The nigga Tony gonna be big. So you okay. think, so that's gonna be good for, for, for Supreme? Yeah, I'm saying Supreme finally finally came to the. the, the and the, found himself one. Find, he, found, he found himself, period. Hmm. He found himself. Well, explain, <laughs> elaborate on that. He's like he, he like he's happy now. You, you remember when Supreme was was he first he went from from uh, K Breezy. You yeah, he still. K, I think K, he's still rocking with K Breezy. K Breezy was was like uh, she came out said she was gay. She did. Yeah, she said she got. I didn't know that. Got only fan. She got a shag. He had a shag and everything. So she found like she was gay, and then here you come with Bob Supreme. With the first gay rapper, in fact, so, so what you okay? Keep going because you sound like you insinuating some. Um, that that he's happy with the he, that's he's happy now. He don't have to he don't have to go around chasing real tune no more. He don't have to go around chasing these gangsters and try to get them on film and nothing like that. Like he he found he, he did stuff. He, 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 I'm proud of him. He finally found himself. Wow, you know. Um, I tried to get y'all to set up together. I wanted to talk Man, with y'all. Man, they want some clout on me. But nah, that nigga Tony gonna be big. You think he gonna be big? Vlad shared him twice. Yeah, then you got Jonathan, you got, you got. You he just, went viral on our, on our platform Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He gonna he go, he go be big. You know? I'm happy for Supreme. You think, what What do you think? You, do you think he's talented? Huh? Do you think he's talented? Nah, he just got a, he's a character. Okay. It's his character that they come. I ain't never listened to no damn song, uh, but it's just his character. Yeah, he took pictures with OG Percy. And yeah, he, he really Percy, that's what I'm saying, Percy. Marketing. And what that nigga go do is, he go open the eyes up to different niggas that's there. Mm, that's undercover? Yeah, on the, and they, 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 you know what I'm saying? So, like, you know, you got a thousand niggas. I ain't gonna never do no song with no snitch. Yeah. And, he, and then you, you got you got niggas like Kodak over there doing songs with him, right? Yeah, yeah. And now it gonna be he gonna open the door. He go it gonna be one nigga do a song with him. They wasn't supposed to do no song with him. So he gonna get somebody on the track. Yeah, one of these the stiff dudes. Yeah, one of the stiff dudes. <laughs> one of these stiff niggas gonna be broke, and they gonna he do can't it. pay their rent and need the money. They gonna take that. They gonna take that five hundred. Wow. What, what, <laughs> what do you think? How is it okay? Should a person try to get on the radio now, or, or you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They should try to get on the radio. Yeah. 
Yeah, hey. Is anybody like is, is I, and I don't listen to the radio a lot, but do Big X he be is he spinning I just, on the radio? I just had him over here. So he always on there. Yeah, I just have him over Is he the here. only one that you hear on there that's locally from Dallas now? Right now? Yeah, I guess. Mm-hmm. About the only one. Okay. It's listen, it's a new generation right now. Well, yeah, explain. Uh, what do you mean? The old generation with the Motri, Yellow Fred, yeah, yo. Oh, that's dead. Bobby, Bobby put it placed himself in that generation too. Now, Cause, cause he of, went backwards. I told him though. I ain't finna just tell him. He gonna say Ryan told me. Bobby put himself in that in that generation too. But that whole generation did. It's something about how you always you you always be you 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 try to try to focus in and make sure because you see. It's, you when you can see what's coming your way is Listen, good. You know new what I mean? Gen, this new generation right now, I'm tell you the new generation. Big X. Big X Big X is the king of this new generation. He is the, the row. He is the uh he is the king of this new generation, right? It's Big X, Montana seven hundred, um, Zier Nerdo, Bumpy Johnson. Lizak, Savage, um, that's about it. That's about it. They the new generation of Dallas. If y'all don't watch out, they go so they, they, they Dallas ain't gonna be prepared again. You didn't say Johnny Damn D. Nah, hell no. Nah. He can't get in there. It's, nah, hell no. Nah. Now nah, we talking about new faces. But he was, he ain't really yeah, just pivoted. He, he ain't really he did. He ain't he, he, this, 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 we talking about new faces. Mike Fresh still These new faces, man. Man, man, Mike that's Fred, what's okay. name? You got this on okay. bounce when yeah, she yeah. walked. He went crazy okay, everywhere. We, we're talking about street rappers. Not the goes, TikTok. No, TikTok niggas be broke. What? And they don't make it long. What you think, bro? They gotta keep coming up with a, a new TikTok, song. A TikTok, they gotta keep coming yes. up with a new song. They keep chasing the viral, not chasing the money. Mm. So you well, the viral should come with the money. No, viral. Yeah, it should. No, because after a month or two, that they, they ain't viral no more. They got to His, bring it after that. No, 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 no. After a month or two, when you when, when you go viral on TikTok, you got two months, sixty days, ninety days at the most. That's Shouldn't you rap. take that song and go perform it? Yeah, though? yeah, but still though. But then when you coming out, you can get a deal in sixty yeah, days, yeah, you right? Can't get no deal out no TikTok. They go give you a single deal, not no, not no situation. You have to keep coming out keep with you coming. Mm-hmm. But when you come from. The streets outside of going viral, like an F and L, it lasts forever. F and L, put on, put on. It lasts forever. That wasn't viral. That was a good song. Put on. You know what I'm saying? So, so that, that them TikTok rappers, I done seen that. That TikTok shit is a curse. When you gonna get Bumpy Johnson back up here, man? I called him. I called him early. Tell him meet me up here. Well, just tell him we are gonna have to set it up because yeah. I, I need to get him on here. I, I, I like talking to him. Cause I knew he gonna give me something. He always performs. Man, y'all know who I want right now? Who? I want that girl KP. You want KP? Yeah, she a star. You can't take up from C4S? I know I ain't trying to take it from her. I just want So what do you want with her? I want partnership with her. Partnership? She a star. Why don't you try to have her do a song with Bumpy? Nah. You don't want to shine the light on her like that? I had about four labels asking me about her. Really? She a star. She can look like a nigga one day and a girl the next day. Mm-hmm. She is a star. C4L got a bunch of stars over there. That's why it's called a click full of I stars. See. You got the white girl. <laughs> you got the white girl over there. Then you got the little short stud. Then you, yeah, they got they got a click full of stars. Then Gigi. Yeah, you got a click full of stars. Mm-hmm. They got a lot of followers too. They 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 banging. Yeah, I need that group. You want to work with them? Why you just don't work with them? I can't just work with nobody. You know, he want to sign them on. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. This I'm Phil Jackson. Why well, are you gonna old part Prince on? You have to do a joint venture. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do it because of that. you got to come right. Nah, I'm, I don't got to come right. My my, I, he already know. I ain't gonna waste my time if it ain't right. Got to be right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But at the end of the day, you know, you know, he got to click for the stars over there. So you, everybody, don't you think that even unique? Don't you think? Okay, it's a, he done had he had Joker over there with him, and then the Joker went with fifty. Man, you see how Dallas do? <laughs> Motherfuckers will let you come snatch up their artists, then the whole city of Dallas mm-hmm. don't 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 say nothing about it. Come he on, had, he had Gutter K. 
Come on, they letting them take them from them. So, <laughs> what are, what can they do if they Dallas can't outside? stop? That's, that's your Dallas business. Need a, Dallas, Dallas need a protest about the whole situation. Erica Banks, she she back. I don't she, know. She, she back now because you need us. She need us. Yeah, you need your city. So how do you think that she? Do you think she was right to make the decision she did to? Uh, I think she said openly she not with fifteen oh one. No, because that man sit there and pay for all this shit. So she wrong for that. She wrong with the mother over there. That man sit there and help you get to your, where you was at. You wasn't shit over there with top off. What would you do if your artist did that to you? She, they have. <laughs> and what would you? What did you do? I, I moved on. Found me somebody else replacing. They don't talk about it no more. Wow. So you you could you would you put. Uh, Bobby Johnson to do a song with Erica Banks. Yeah, yeah, I need her. I need her Spotify listeners. Yeah, cause she she did make numbers and she do have a. I would contemplate on putting on a three album. I, I changed my mind. Cause Why? she really she really right Why? now the big huh? Why? Uh, uh, for a person to do somebody like that. You think she gonna do you wrong? They'll uh, listen. For, she only did two people wrong. Who she did wrong? She left half pint. And then now she did that to And Carl. now she left Carl. Do you think anybody... But she, she, somebody else will still take her up. Yeah, I know. She'll burn out, not a turnout. She'll burn out, not a turnout. Mm-hmm. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> she, that motherfucker go burn out. So you... <laughs> so you don't feel like... like what what's the one thing that can can make artists stay loyal though, right? Uh, you gotta understand what you, what y'all want together. It gotta be in them, no matter yeah, what. Yeah, it gotta be in it them. It gotta be in them. On them. Yeah. It How gotta did you be maintain with with Mo three all this time, all that time? Because he because y'all used to be y'all used to have back and forths too. No, nah, but we knew we had back and forth because we knew what we was we was we was, we was trying to get. You know. You know, uh, the last two rappers I had that I stopped having, you know, I had back and forth because I felt like they weren't trying to take over the world. But at the same time, when you imagine somebody or you're dealing with somebody, remember, it's just like a relationship. Both of y'all have to be growing in the same sort of way and manner. Yeah, 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 but... but And at one point, you said that he was just totally trying to do street when you trying to elevate in a different way. I understand that, but see, if y'all don't see me, if y'all don't see me win the championships because in the music game... I got the money to show it, and I got the plastic to show it. So the plastic is like championships, right? If y'all don't see me do it, well, you should listen to me 100%. So I'm telling you how to do it. I done did it before. Mm-hmm. Y'all be up here talking about managers listening that ain't got no credentials ever. Ever. If I was smart, I would have got a platform. I got to play for gutter bitch because I was there, there and I got to play for a lot of shit. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm going to get to play for what I know I created. You got advantage on a lot of the managers because you do promo and all. You know how to promote the parties, the gigs. Yeah, yeah. A lot so, of people don't have two, that in, leverage. In 2000, listen, in 2000, 2023, they be like, what have you done? I got one rapper signed from North Carolina. I got him signed just straight off Dallas Bloggers. You know what I'm saying? Uh... Made over damn near hundred thousand off a of Boosie show in Tyler. Mm. Yeah, I seen that. And you Webby was down there, wasn't it? Yeah, you, I seen you with Webby. Yeah, then came back, book Fredo Bang on a huge. Yeah, tour, I saw that tour. Tour. So at the end of the day, I'm gonna keep him busy for a while. Yeah. So at the end of the day, you know, uh, uh, I'm still doing more than the, than the average person promoting and stuff. I don't want to be caught no manager no more. Uh, my own label. I don't, I got some good. What's music. It, what is your title? What do you want to be called? I'm a CEO. That's I'm, what you want yeah, everybody to call I don't you. I want to be the manager. I do a lot of shit. I can go promote. I, I can do a lot of shit. I got a question. So you know, current events. It says that Cardi B might be. She um, threw that damn mic at that, that a person. battery. A battery charge she, might be coming towards they her. Threw water on it, but she. I seen the second part of that. She was asking people to throw water on it, and then she threw that Ooh, damn Cardi mic. Cardi B yeah. was asking people yes. to throw water. She at was her? saying splash me, and they were throwing water up at her. Really? Then when that last person did it, she got frustrated because she wasn't looking for it to come at that time. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah, yeah, and then they splashed it, and, I, and then but, she but threw then that mic. She threw the mic, and the, the, she hit the person that threw that water at. her her, 
But it ricocheted off of that person that hit somebody else. And that person the next day went to the police department. Hell yeah. And tried to show. Ooh, I wish I was there. <laughs> Me too. I sure would have went. Yeah, like Charlo. What's the, what's the, who got slapped? That The brother that got the mental problems. Yeah, yeah, listen. Ooh. It ain't nothing you could do. He slapped you on cameras. You got insurance. You can't do nothing. Holler at me. I got some good attorneys, son. Yeah. They'll get you this, the, the, to, they'll get you to the last dime. But then when you're a celebrity, it's like almost like everybody tried, not everybody, but any little thing you do, it's a lawsuit. That, you, that's the only way you can do it. No you that's, the, that's the way the game goes. Man, you, yeah, you a role model. You couldn't do that microphone at they lady like that. That lady. But it's a reaction. If somebody uh-uh. pinch you, you going to jump? But that lady that, ain't that, worth that, nothing that, yeah, when it comes to money that, like her. But you'll get mad if a, cop, if a cop go off his reaction. Because they say he's trained. Uh, no, a, a celebrity is trained. Not a lot of these celebrities. Yes, a you lot are. Of you them are you not go, trained. You, you, but you go through. You go through orders development. You go through. A, you you some you, of them. But you deal with it every day. Mm-hmm. That's training. If I if I walk out right now, it's training for me to be prepared for whatever comes my way. Because mm. I deal with it every day. You know what I'm saying? For y'all got here, I'm sitting there shaking four five niggas hands. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. So I'm I'm trying to do it every day. I can stop at the light, stop at the gas station. Somebody rainwater, rainwater, rainwater. So I'm just trying to do it. whatever come my way. I'm trying. I'm, I am naturally trained. For and whatever. somebody and somebody out here might not even like you, and they come to you pretending you, you don't know who they are. You don't know they could. Yeah, be that's trying the worst to, thing. You could be with your mama. You could be with your family. You could be with anybody. Nigga, come up every day. You don't know. Who How do you are. move when you're with your kids? You can't. You can't really just say too much to me. Mm. Yeah, you can't really just say too much. You won't so. stop and talk to fans or none of that when you're with your family. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to them. No, I'm gonna talk to them in an aggressive way for, before they even walk up to me to see what they are. I'm more looking and more. I'm more, you know, on go when, when my parent, my my family with me. You have to be, mm-hmm. but you know, I, I be my family all the time. People always say, Ryan, why don't you just move? I be a selfish bastard to move. Yeah, yeah, because you said a long time ago yeah. in one of our interviews that you, if Mo was still here, you would have had him move. Like, you still here, why you don't move? Because I, I got too many kids and I'd be selfish to move. You told, no, but you told me the last time that you had all your kids come and they're living in your house. Now, yeah, but shit, I got more kids now. So you ain't put them all in the same house, Not too? the triplets. Why not? Huh? Because why they not? Got their own, they got they got their own situation there. That that mother, that child, you know, that she got her own house and everything. So I can't just put everybody in. I got my mama in there. I got my whole family. There. But you got money, so why not move them all to another city? Uh, when you get to an age, how can I move my grandpa to another city? And he got dialysis. You can transfer him to another New York location. Some people's not leaving. People sitting their way. I want to ask you about yeah. man. I was looking at the. Uh, internet because your face come up a lot Mm -hmm. and you ended up going to jail right it was all over the place right Mm -hmm. and i was saying what the hell wrong i called you i said Mm -hmm. man what's going on we didn't really go into detail but why would hell why are you in jail why are you you posted it the night before Uh that night with the with the lights flashing in i had put up something but uh I got to talk about that right now, but... You can't talk about it. But, you know... I know uh, your face was everywhere on, on that mug shot. You just got to watch out to all these people that, uh... With these sneaky ways. Okay. Listen, one thing... Yeah, sneaky ways. Is there a case? Uh, um, it, ain't, it ain't for the big one. It ain't for the big one? Uh-uh. Okay. But is there ain't well, for the big one and you ways. can't talk about it? But, you know, at the end of the day, like I tell you, I don't sell no dope. I don't do nothing to leave yeah. you. So you ain't got I nothing cha- to hide. Uh, I changed it. Hell nah. Man, hell nah. I, I make good rap chicks. Hell no. Nah. And I try to change these little nigga lives around me. You know what I'm saying? And hey, you don't screw nobody over. I ain't never fucked nobody over there in my life. Put it on my, you can't name one person I In the beginning, up. before you blew up, you did not mess nobody over. Not really like that, no. No, it's either, don't say not really. No. It's either you did or you didn't. Not one person. Did Don't I, say that. I have fucked up. Mm. You told stories before that you did. No, 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 no. Because in the beginning, day, no, no. If it, it, it ain't fucking over, they try to snake me and I snake them. I gotta ask you about Jamie Fox, man. He popped out when this movie was coming out. He ain't look right, did he? He he's was been sick, but I'm just saying he, he popped was, out. Well, he was light though, wasn't he? He was light skinned. 
But you think he a clone? I'm but not gonna do this with y'all, If man. you sitting down in a room ain't had no sun, no nothing, ain't you gonna get lighter? Hell nah, I know niggas in, in prison right now don't come out that light. <laughs> Man, right? E? What are you saying, though? No, 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 no. no. He got no, no, he ain't what are no you sun. saying? I don't know, but no. He, Ice T said he was <laughs> like, "Don't say he a clone. Don't do that. That man been sick." Oh, okay. So no, this clone thing only came up because of the movie, movie coming out. He popped out and previewed this movie thing. Like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then he did that playing. Then he did his eyes all crazy. That's Jamie. Mm. Unless it's a hell of a clone, and it's a good one if it is. Yeah. What whatever happened? You think he would pass? What? Don't do this. No, no, no. I know where this is going. What you saying? You think they wouldn't have let it happen? Nah. You see? <laughs> you think Terrell, Texas, they would have had a big old... It, oh, it, for sure. Hell yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I went down there. I had to go down there. You know, I drive down there. So they got parks and shit of Jamie? No, they just got his house is there. They keep his they house up. They have a mural. They, they have street. a huge they mural, a mural down there. Go down him. there. You should show love. You See, you don't even go show love. He right down the street. 20 minutes. Oh. Uh. I don't think I know about Tura Lil Dang Dang. Lil Dang Dang, I need to get him on the <laughs> yeah, show. Yeah, 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 yeah Lil Dang Dang. Yeah, yeah. You were going to sign him. Yeah, I want to sign Lil Dang yeah. Dang. Where, where can we find Lil Dang Dang? We need to get him. Yeah. He probably still We need to get Lil Dang Dang and put him yeah, on the show. Yeah. Lil Dang Dang straight. Hey, Lil Dang Dang, we looking for you. We're yeah. going to bring you on Boss Talk 101, so hit me up. Get in my inbox. Lil, 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 Lil Dang Dang was straight up. Uh, DSR ass rapping. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, on that freestyle yeah, yeah. thing going, yeah, boy. Yeah, I like that day, day, man. He, he represents he represent Texas, man. Yeah. In the worst way. You got a couple of them. A him and uh, that other guy, too. It was a couple of them. A Savage, 52 Savage. You got, Savage. Y'all got a bunch, man. You got a lot of stuff to be going on in Dallas, man. I'm, putting, I'm gonna wrap this up, but man, just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this, man, Rain. Keep on doing what you're doing, man. Don't, you know, you know what I'm saying? Let's try to, I need... We need a female artist, man. If you're not gonna push Pink Press out here, nah, the, the city, the city needs a look. Erica she, Banks is the, the 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 biggest, one of the biggest. No, hang on, just one more girl too. Look, look, it's one more girl. Ain't yeah, it? Angelina, um, is it Jolie? She ain't from here. She ain't no, oh, it's oh, a another Houston. girl. Y'all want her? What was the uh, other girl? Ain't nobody from here. Uh, the only thing we got right now is like, uh, K. Breezy. <laughs> Why you say this like that? Don't stupid. do that. Boy, if this nigga ain't crazy, <laughs> <laughs> say no, <man. laughs> we, we we I'm trying to figure out. We, we it's an open lane here. We got to fill this man, up, listen, bro. We need a female listen, artist. Listen, 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 listen. The the female rappers them took it to the whole other level. Ratchet. L- where, where, let me tell you. You gotta neglect your kids to be a star superstar. Niggas did it their whole lives. Hard on the female. Man, you got yeah. kids. Mm-hmm. Niggas did their whole lives. So now these hoes are superstars. You gotta find one that don't have no kids. Exactly. Because they are superstars. Like, think about a nigga. Uh, Since St. Molly don't have no kids, dude. Since St. Molly ain't no superstar. But she oh, she could be man, with listen, the right listen, management. Ice snap now. Nah, hell now. Nah, because they stuck in their ways. Uh, oh, she not going to uh, change. Uh, what's her name? Ice Spice. Is she from New York, ain't yeah, she? Yeah, yeah. She's a version of Sensei Molly and Cuban Dog put together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can see that. Mm-hmm. Sensei hard though, man. I, mean, I, I love the way Sensei right. But you got, but you got, I, and, and little bro. You, but you, but you got to understand. They hard, man. You understand that, but you got to understand. Maybe it's them holding they self back. They hard. Yeah, I mean, you got to understand. Maybe it's them holding they self back. Sensei Molly was sound sound a Def Jam. Yeah, but just like what Gutta Gutta TV said on the show. Yeah, they ain't came out yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So at the end of the day, it's not. It's, sometimes you gotta understand they sell, bro. You gotta, bro. To be a superstar is hard. It's not easy. People think you just blow up overnight. It, it's like hard. That. Like it's not, bro. It's nothing. It's okay, a lot of work. okay. When I talk to, uh, to go to the look, look, when I talk to Smooth Vega, he said it'd take at least fifteen years. I think he said to get an artist where they need to be. Nah, yeah, nah. That's too long. That take three. Didn't he say fifteen it years? Me, it take um, me two years. I did that with Bumpy in half a year. Bumpy went from with his help. Bumpy, he, no, he did. What, what did he do? He said, you, oh, we didn't never, he say that? We never discussed what he did, right? No, what did he do? What did he do? He said he helped. He was already grinding. No, 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 no. He helped what? 
He didn't really go into detail. But no, no, said. this is what he did. Mumpy wanted the song out, right? I didn't want the song out. Mumpy called him to try to help him get to register the song. Mumpy put out the song. He came on here and said, I had to help Rainwater with the song by far Bumpy's biggest song that, that to this day that he done came out with, right? That was a song with him and Boosie. I didn't want the song to come out. I wanted another song to come out, then Boosie. So they put that song out first that really didn't do nothing. Then I came back and told Bumpy, go redo Diamonds Against the Wood. They Bumpy spent this amount of money, twenty some thousand dollars for boosting and this and that, and, and paying people for promotion, it did nothing. What I was trying to pr prove to Bumpy is, fucking with me, you don't need no money. Stop chasing a dollar. Wow. What did you? I don't give a damn about you registering the song. Keep it free, just so when we sign, they uh, it's untouched money. Chase the dream, not the dollar. So he was trying to teach him that. Yeah. So he calls. So he was. So Vega was kind of messing up what you was trying. What to I was trying to do. Cause you don't know no better. Cause y'all have two different concepts. We got two different to concepts. Yeah, they chase the dollar. I chase the dream. I so right now I could took bump into about four different labels. Hey, I got untouched money right here. You, you know what I'm saying? We don't know nothing about all that. We we've been chasing the, the dream. But do you think when he said and so, and so when he come out with the booster song, that, man, what the fuck is you doing? Who thought Boo Baker? Oh yeah, you goofy. Cause I, cause I dropped slanging iron for free. Then we could have came back with the boost song. Now Bumpy would have been a superstar. He fucked over what I had going on. Well, he also alluded to the fact that your 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 followers and subscribers is fake. I can't have no damn fake followers. That's more three followers. Y'all forgot my that's more that's 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 all Mo three. That's all, I don't know how to do no damn fake followers. That's that's people come to my page for Mo three page to see what I got going on. That was a bit Mo, that was a big deal. So I know my, you. My my name still in his bio. We ain't touched this bio. That's from that's that's back from before you Mo really? three. That's back from Mo, before Mo three died. Nigga, I don't got no damn fake followers. I ain't know. I ain't know. I do fake followers or fake views. Nigga, if, I, if anything around me fake, my name would been died out. Yeah, like y'all, they have been trying to tell everybody I'm not this. I'm not that. I'm not. Y'all niggas probably better than me. Know everything about me. Manager, know this, know that, know this, know. I understand. Y'all know all the shit. Uh, uh, you, Bob Supreme. All you niggas, y'all do know, y'all know everything better than me, right? Y'all know everything better than me. It just, I'm led by God. Man, <laughs> that's who you need to be led by. So everything that y'all do, everything that y'all say, you right. Y'all you, probably better managers than me. Y'all probably this and that, this and that. I'm led by God. I don't go by y'all books and rules and how y'all do things. That's real. Ain't, you know what I'm saying? No, that's hard. I, I, man I, of God, you can't I, go wrong. I, I don't go by that. I don't go by that. So at the end of the day, I don't go by that. So, you know, I heard Bob Supreme say, anybody can manage Mo3. Mo3 said, when I met Rain, the rap wasn't in my brain. We selling CDs like co crack cocaine, bitch, we changed the game. I don't go by none of this shit y'all went by. Wow. I do like, I like the way that, that, that you, you, you take it to the field and it help people. Yeah. When you, when you grab, when you grab at a place where, it's a place where that person's hurt. Like when Pink Pressure talked about it on here, like when you go to that place, man, I fuck that with help her. people, man. I, I fuck with her, but you know, at the end of the day, sometimes we have an argument about with this type of type style. She want to do the turned up young style. I I, I don't want to do that. I'm not trying to push up, push that. I got a daughter. You gonna help? I people. want you. Yeah, I want you to try to change, to help people, change, change their situation. You know what I'm saying? Come, go to the studio. Come with ten good quality songs. Then, then we can do this and do that. But at the end of the day, you got to know the sacrifices that that's finna come on. You got to leave your kid. Yeah. And and I'm not finna have your your child around that type of environment. That's real. That's real. Cause you can't even say. Man, this rap game the devil. You got to be bright, prayed up and know how to and know how to conduct yourself. This rap game is the most evil, devil situation that I ever seen in my fucking life. And if you know that, why would you want to be in it? Uh, because because I'm doing God's work. You ain't you can't name you can't name one one you can't name one rapper that I've been around that I, that ain't and came out with a message from God. Man, bumpy hard. Man. Bumpy song at his grandma's funeral. Oh, the next song we got is, is Save Me. God, won't you come save me? And I, I sent Lil Kiki the song, and I sent DC Young Fly the song. So whoever jumped on it first, they go do it. But see, everybody I have ever, ever managed, managed they, they had a message from God. So is that you implementing that in them? For them to even put I that see, out? I see it in them before then. But, yeah, but I see them before then, and then I just hear, I, I try to get it out there. Mm. I get it out of you. You know what I'm saying? 
I want to ask you, how, how much with, with Mo3 passing away and you having to deal with all this afterwards, how much it, uh, years later now, it's been a couple of years later, right? I'm finally thinking straight. That's what I'm saying. Like, how, I'm finally thinking straight. I, 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 I was depressed on, up all night, on, uh, drinking and all kind of shit. So I was depressed for a little while, but I'm finally thinking straight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, at the end of the day, I, went, I ran from, through 1.2 million. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Trying to find myself again. But people say you did a great job, man. A lot of, even Smooth Vegas said yeah, that. Yeah. So can't nobody take nothing from you. Cause you and Mo Three did that together. He did say that, that. Yeah, that's cool, but uh right now, uh I'm back focused. You back focused? It's easy, yeah, I'm back focused. But but bumpy. Bumpy good, baby C, you know. Yeah. Uh, but A O F Key and Block, but A O F Key. Oh, that's the next biggest star out of Dallas. If Mo3 could talk, say something to you right now about what you're doing, what do you think it'll be? About this whole situation that you got going on with the artists you're dealing with? Hey, he'll tell me to stop fucking with these niggas. All of them? Yeah. Why? Huh? Why? They ain't working hard He don't know the they, they, he'll say they don't know the position and the blessing they, they in. Oh, okay. I get where you coming from. They, they all only make it off his name. But they all got to grow. They all young. They all got to grow just still, like he did. Still, though, he didn't have these opportunities. I know, but he had to grow from where he, he was, but, Okay, well, that's like Jesus looking at us and saying, I died for y'all sins. I died for, to help y'all. It's like Martin Luther King saying, nigga, do y'all know what the shit that we went through? Y'all over here struggling? Is Martin Luther King going to go to the hood and tell a black man that's standing on Martin Luther King Street, nigga, I made it I, I made it for where you can you can go get a job anywhere, any, anywhere in the world. Right around. No, you right. Some people don't know the opportunity they have. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I had to tell Bumpy the other day, Bumpy. Those Mo3 fans that buying them features and all that. I know you're very talented. They're not going to just buy you from anybody. But you've been around me and me vouching for you. It automatically comes with Mo3 fans. That's real. So you don't understand the situation that in, in the type of place that you in because at the end of the day, you were represented by somebody who represented the best rapper that ever came through Dallas, Texas. So you got it easy. You went from 10,000 followers to damn near 90,000 followers in less than six months. That's hard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you don't know the, the type of situation you in. That's 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 I, I agree with that. I can't because you you yeah. know that it comes yeah. with something. Yeah. It ain't just. It, I agree with so, that. Mm -hmm. So uh, my whole life is so now. But it comes with something. But then on the downfall, you can't do what you want to do. There's stipulations. The stipulations to my three fans because they gonna expect certain things, things for you from you from you. Yeah. Cause you and him, with you managing him, like like it automatically yeah. comes with that as well. Like Bobby, me vouching for Bobby. Yeah, Bobby was on top of the world. You going back over there doing what you did? You lost it. You got to start all over from scratch. Do you think that you could work with Bobby again, <laughs> and, and that things could could change? Oh uh, yeah, it could. Change. I not on Mo three shit. I wouldn't do my nigga like no, that. No 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 no. I'm talking about fours with like Bumpy or any of the other guys. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. Because cool. I ain't gonna lie, his style is like. But at the end, style of, is at the end of the day, at the end of the day, he cool. But that All My Life song, it yeah. reminded me of OG Bobby man, Billions, man. I got something like that on my three albums. But look, it's cool. Uh, I fuck with it cool, but I'm coming to I'm coming to catch everybody. You got something under your sleeve? Nah, I ain't got nothing under your sleeve. I'm, I'm, I got everything on opening. I'm coming for Bumpy. Bumpy finna take over Dallas in the next three to six months. So he gonna be bigger than Big X? I'm coming. <laughs> 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 I'm coming. coming. I'm gonna hold you to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, at the end of the day, I know you better be on Boss Talk. Yeah, okay, what well, month we in? The end of he July? said three to six months. He talking about around about February. Year, he talking about the about end of February. this year. No, no, no. no. Uh, by the time Earl Spence, Earl Spence come out with the what, what, uh, to fight again, Bumpy gonna be bringing him he'll out. He'll be right there. They gonna be the first. You be like, okay, Ryan said it. Then by the time February, he gonna say, Ryan said it. I'm coming. He gonna bring him out. I'm coming. No, nah, he'll not. But I'm coming. <laughs> you just tell you he gonna be hard. He yeah, gonna I'm be coming. ready. I'm coming. So you tell me. So you gonna, gonna, we gonna get an album by then. We gonna get a project by then from. Him? If I get a big deal by then, ain't no point dropping no album. You, you right. You right. You gotta have that deal. Yeah. So, but I'm letting everybody know I'm coming. 
Okay. I can't wait, man. Yeah, I, I can't wait. I know y'all been in there working in that studio. I know y'all been working. How did you and Boosie get so damn close? Three. Hmm? Mo three? Yeah. You didn't know him before that? Nah, yeah, no. Nah. You didn't? No, nah, nah, ain't nobody could tell me. When I get out of jail, I'm going to be around Boosie. Really? Oh, Hell man, that's nah. big. I rock with Boosie. Yeah, too. nigga, Pimp C, my favorite rapper. Man, you better know it. They've been met, they've been arguing me about that Jay Z. Gutter was in here yesterday with that about Gutter about about Jay Z. I Jay Z. I'm like, dude, Jay Z cool, but I'm telling you right now, I'm old. Y'all not old as me. And the South is boosted. It definitely boosted. But see, when you say that, that got me in trouble on here with you last time. Niggas start saying, man, why you say? When they said Jay Z, why you say boosted? Like I'm like, me and you was talking about it. it was something we was talking about. I don't even want to talk about that because we came back to everybody called. But well, Webby. Oh, uh, Webby, that thing there, that that kind of, you seen him the next week after we spoke I on that. <laughs> this nigga crazy. You see that? <laughs> I see I was laughing. I was in there, I was laughing like hell. I was that nigga right there with him. He said that nigga can't rap no more. <laughs> but but he still cool though. He goes, y'all, we just talking, man. Uh -huh. You know, at the end of the day, I, don't think, I think Webby can rap still. I ain't tripping on that. Nah, I know. I'm man, you crazy. The nigga still know his songs and everything. He just ain't doing it. To be able to shit, you gotta you gotta be a bad motherfucker to put them words together like he put the words together. Oh, he was killing that. I, that, that that Savage Life one and two. I had the nigga on the produced it. I was on the way here and I'm listening to that uh smoking on that doja out and got him back with you. Yeah. <laughs> that, <laughs> that nigga, nigga rap dog. Really open, yeah. That nigga rap. Yeah, dog. yeah, nah, he could. But that Pimp C was alive too during that time too. Pimp couldn't rap like that. No, nah, Pimp just fly with his words. His yeah. singing, man. His yeah. singing was so, so cool. It had that, that same pain feel that you uh -huh. you pull out these other guys and that you work with, with these other guys when they doing the same, that, that the, the things he say. It's uh -huh. just on another level. So when Bumpy, once this Bumpy thing come out, I can't wait to see it. I know already when once the deal and everything go through, it's going down. Yeah, Bumpy a bad motherfucker. Bumpy, I'm, I'm coming. Y'all gotta understand, I keep saying AOF Key and Block. I haven't released their album, but Key, Key, Key and Block is. is these, the, these your guys too? Yeah. I, hadn't, I ain't seen them. You ain't sent me no music. You ain't sent me no pictures. Or, who is it? I don't know them. Yeah, but they. Uh, they You just started working with them? About a month ago, two months ago. Okay. They some, they, they, they some bad motherfuckers. Who is the little dude you with on his podcast, man? Because he came over here one day and I spoke to him, little old light skinned guy, kind of heavy. Route, Route 66, I think. Route is that his name? Who? I've been wanting to shout him out. I, you went on this show. He's somewhere close oh, by. Oh, Dre. Yeah. That's yeah. His what's, his, what's his podcast? Right. Yeah, yeah, Route to Fame. Route to Fame. Yeah, he I came by here one day to meet me and said he, he look up uh, to the show and all uh, that. He rock with it. Uh, he um, that's good, man. Shout out to him because yeah, I've been wanting. I didn't fame, know right. the name. Uh, he uh, he used to be the valet dude in Mo Three Apartments. Really? He's a park I cars for us. And we just called Dre. Dre go park I cars and then three died. Dre got his own studio. That's hard. Dre, Dre hustled up money for his artists to get a feature from O3. So from, you and him from, go from way back. Ballet, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So when he came out of his own podcast, I stopped what I'm doing, go wherever he need me to go. I didn't even know that. When he came here that day, I just like, who is this guy? Yeah, he pulled up. And he a bouncer at uh, Exit. So is he? He'll call me and say, Rain, uh, you need me to play some of your artist's music? I fuck with He a bouncer? Yeah. So yeah. he probably know my nigga Miguel, you know the one to be over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to park the car. Yeah, Drake will be a he'll be a big pioneer in the game. That's hard, man. I didn't know that. Shout out to him, man, because he did come over one day. We were leaving. Mm -hmm. I said, "Yeah, nigga, you little nigga, you go and get it." Yeah, you know me. I'm yeah, old. I'm trying to be an OG. I'm yeah. old. Yeah. I, ain't, I ain't no trying. Yeah. Go get it. Why you gonna tell me like that? Go back. Go get it, little nigga. <laughs> I don't think I told him in them I, words. How you do? You shook his what hand. What I tell him? What did you tell him? You you gave him game. You, you I did talk to him. Yeah. I did say something. But so, he up here trying to act like an old triple OG. I was in the truck. Uh, I just, uh, we were uh, leaving. Uh, 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 uh. He can't help it. Yeah, he I can't help, help that, man. I, I'm i just being me, Rain. Come on now. <laughs> How are we doing, Rain? We still in the game. And people, I got good news, man. And we doing our thing. Just, I, I ain't, we can't talk about it. Yeah, yeah. But we got, we got a lot going on. Yeah. What do you think about the show? Nah, it's doing pretty good. You one of the main people on here. I fuck with it. You, I, it, hey, ever since I've been going, you always pull up, show us love. I, I ain't gonna lie. It. I try to come and get as many negative to come as possible. <laughs> <laughs> they, they gonna be mad today. They gonna say, Rain on there again. Damn, Rain, he came back. Yeah. That's funny because you built yourself up in a time 
where, like I said, I think you was out there just that numb for that first six, seven months after nah. after after Mo three pads. You were just out here. Two I'm like, years. You. No, I'm talking about the first six, seven months when I seen you. Yeah, it was like you just on this live. You just jumping up, doing anything, talking to everybody, fussing with these niggas. You didn't care. He still be fussing, but not like he he was really pissed at <laughs> that point. Cause I could have came here with a different mind frame. Yeah. I'm glad you got this and that, this and that, this and that. Are you talking about on the on I'm the other, to, to another, uh, on yeah. the other situation? They, no, you did they, good. They, they, but they they can't wait to come. It's like all rain for the what's kind of. No, you didn't do nothing. No, like I said so. So so, I, so now, but I understand how the trick is. So now I got them with their attention. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I said, now I got the attention. So That's you know, hard. You know, you know how to play mind games. He playing the mind games. Like, yeah, yeah, I'll come right time, but I sit there and put some Mo3 laughing up there. I put some you Mo3. did put that up there. Well, I put Mo3 laughing. Just, just like when, 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 when B-King, you when you said that stuff about B-King, them comments, you got old boy put off that label. <laughs> man, you crazy, man. But, what, but listen, listen, at the end of the day, was I wrong for saying it? Niggas don't want motivation. That's your opinion. But niggas don't want motivation now, I see. Niggas don't, Dallas, Texas want to, they want to go by the Dallas little set rules. Mm -hmm. So you think Dallas hold Dallas back? Yeah, they hold themselves back. Nah, I can't Did you so. see, who did you see at the BET Awards? You done been to BET Awards years in a row. Why, how is the difference since Tyler Perry got it versus when Deborah Lee was up there? That's my first time in some niggas shit. Oh, you saying it, it? But I don't feel like he had any say so right now in nah. it because remember he just got it, bro. When I this seen was, that, because you got things are already pre -planned. I go straight to Grammys and ESPYS, right? Yeah, you and been billboards, right? Yeah. When you went there, you was like, "What the hell?" But this some nigga shit. <laughs> but, listen, but you got to think it was, about it. Listen, this is pre planned. I, I know. Listen, I walk right. I walk right there to the back. And to the back. Ain't nobody say nothing. Ain't nobody nothing. said nothing. I, I walked by. I walked by. Hey, I need to go here. I need to go here. I, I started helping them push the shit out of them and everything. I said, oh, this easy. This easy. I be at the Grammy. When them white people sit there and look at you like, okay, who are you? You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Them, them BT walls, you go in there like you black with a chain on there. You somebody. Them fight, them, they don't know who's who because they got a bunch of niggas walking around. Let me ask you this. Uh, the fight in December, if it, it hypothetically happens, you spending your money, you going back up, you going to watch that fight again. I'm in the building. And you're uh, going to see what's going on. And who down. you betting on? Chris Breezy was there. Yeah, I'm going for Crawford. Again. Man, Crawford, bad motherfucker. So you don't see Earl being able to even do nothing? Nah. Now, yeah, he going to do something. He might finish it, but he ain't going to be able to. He, he going to bet something. more this listen, time? Listen, I know him. Y'all don't understand. He's over there pissed off right now. He ain't finna just fold like that. We from the same area. We ain't finna fold like that. He ain't finna fold. I'm telling y'all right now, he not finna fall. He coming back to fight. And he can fight South But that boy, other boy, that nigga country nigga that ain't got nothing to lose. He, ain't care, he don't care about no material shit. So it's like on Rocky, Man, you gotta leave everything and go back go to gotta, the woods. Eat, listen. To go up a hill and go. EJ, EJ gotta go to the woods. Yeah, start back eating, just pure, getting his food, yeah, cooking yeah, it, yeah, fishing, yeah, cooking yeah, right fishing, there on the bank. Yeah, yeah, right there. You got what if I going to be next time? You think well, you're going to be in Vegas? It's going I right know back. Vegas, but MGM it's going or right somewhere back. It's going it's going right right back. That, That's That place bigger than uh, the MGM. Yeah. And so, and so, yeah, that uh, EJ got to go. EJ got to go from. He got. He got to go from. He got to start from back from the bottom. Cause that nigga back there, he in the woods. He oh in yeah. Omaha, Nebraska. It ain't nothing up there. It ain't nothing. He ain't got no distractions. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? He ain't got no distractions. So now uh, he got he just gotta get back to his mind. He got he got to think like him. Already, man, we love you. I you know, know you're my guy, man. And hey, man, listen, man, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk One Hundred and One. What a boss is talk. And we out.